So it is my turn to alter and decorate this glass bottle as part of my four core art challenge for June. And to start with, I will create some texture. I use a piece of tights and some white glue. You could absolutely use ordinary fabric or maybe a thin sock would work too. Now this glue is a bit lumpy, it's a bit old, but with the help of a little bit of water, it's just perfect for this type of project. Because I will just uh, soak my uh, piece of uh, fiber here in the glue until it's nice and saturated and then I will add it to my bottle and yes it's nice and messy and actually once in a while I don't mind that at all. Now I should have cut off the very end of this pair of tights and you see in a minute I have to mess up my scissor by cutting it off a bit late in the process but oh well. Here I'm trying to achieve some folds all around the bottle. Sorry the angle is not great but you will see it in a little bit. Here on the top I have of course way more material available. It's not as tight so it makes really lovely uh, shapes and folds and yeah I really like the way it already looks and you will see that by the time it is dry it gives a really nice texture. So while that dries, and actually it had to dry overnight, I'm working on a piece of watercolor paper with my watercolors. And I tried to create uh, four little panels because one part of the four core challenge was to include one or more of the four elements. And so I thought, well, my bottle is square. It has four sides. So maybe I could include all four of the elements. So I'm trying to make some very simple but colorful illustrations of the four elements. So of course, I start by creating a background using different shades of colors. Uh, then I spray water, I add more paint, I try out some little designs, I add more water, and then finally I get to decorating these panels with very abstract ideas of the four elements. Nothing super concrete or realistic at all. Now working with watercolors is always a lot of fun. They are so vibrant, they blend so easily, and they're just a real nice medium. So I play around with this quite a while and after that all the steps I'm taking to complete my bottle are very easy to follow. So it's just about time to turn you over to some music. But of course when I'm done decorating my bottle there will be a lineup of all the wonderful entries I received from all of you. And then after that there will be the new four core challenge for the month of July. So don't go away, watch it all the way through. I hope you enjoy my process here and I will talk to you in just a wee bit. And like always, anything you need to know and any mediums will be in the captions. Enjoy!
so here is my just about completed project. I just love the texture on this bottle, especially on the very top. So using something which is maybe not as tight as a pair of tights could really give you even better texture on the bottom of the bottle. So here are my four panels with the little symbols for the four elements. And next I just have to add my dangle. So first a piece of copper chain. And then you saw me do my little booklet. Uh, but of course I added a few other elements to the little dangle to make it more complete. And that is a tiny, tiny blue glass bottle with a cork. There is a key and there is a faux clock face and then of course my little booklet. Now inside the booklet I added the symbols and the names of the elements one more time as you can see here and there are a few empty pages so maybe I will add something else. I thought it was nice to uh, add something handmade to my dangle as a bottle in itself. It's fairly simple. So I added also a closure, the type you usually have on a necklace. That way I can just clip it to the chain in whichever position I like it and I can always change it uh, in the future. Now I have to say I really love the texture on this piece and I'm satisfied with the way I represented the elements. It was really nice actually to work with my watercolors and create something a little bit different on these type of projects. But now to all of your wonderful creation. They're coming up right now in a lineup. And don't forget there are some artists who also have created videos and you will find those links below in my description box. Give them a visit. So here we go. A big, big thank you to all of you who participated in last month's challenge. As you could see, the lineup was full of beautifully decorated bottles, each one unique and different. And I hope that all of you watching will take time to look at all the fascinating details. I always get very excited when I receive all of your beautiful photos. and. By the way, if you do these dimensional projects, feel free to send me a couple of photos so we can all enjoy your project from different angles. So now on to the new challenge, our full core art challenge for the month of July. Now going back again a little bit more into the one dimensional art world, I thought it would be fun and interesting to decorate and design a book cover. Now when I say book, I mean that in a very broad kind of a sense. So let me give you some ideas. Maybe you have a notebook that needs a facelift. That would be great to decorate. Or just simple school notebooks, any kind of type and size composition books are really nice to work on. 
or maybe you have an art journal that needs still the cover done. Any size, any type is fine, either bound or with rings. And then there are also ring binders, the ones you find in offices. Many people use them for storage, like stencils and die cuts, but those things are also great to decorate. And then of course there are the odd things, maybe you like coloring books and you have one you know you will be working in for a long time, you could give it a nice sturdy cover or maybe a photo book that needs a makeover. And then of course there are always commercial uh, artist uh, books, um, sketchbooks or mixed media books, any binding, any size would work great. And then of course there is the ordinary book. Maybe you're already working on altering a book and you can let us see your cover. Or maybe you have a book which is your favorite. You really like to read it but you would like to give it a new look. And you could even make a slip cover to protect your book. All those things are possible. It's completely up to you how you want to do it and what you want to decorate as long as our substrate is book related. So book or booklet or notebook or journal, all those things will work. And I'm sure you have something like this somewhere in your home. Now before I go on and show you the rest of the core elements we will all use to decorate and design our book or journal cover, I want to mention one more time that you are of course free and encouraged to use any medium in your project. Be it your favorite watercolor or acrylic paint, your markers or gelatos, you can use texture paste, gessos, any medium you like to complete your project. But now to part two here. So after the substrate, we need something to decorate with. So we will include some fibers. And fibers could mean something simple like a rope or some seam binding or ribbon. It could be lace, it could be fabric. And if you like fibers, you can lose a lot of these things. If you're not so much into fibers, you can use a little bit. That's completely up to you. And now for the third pile here, we will include uh, letters and numbers or letters or numbers, that's okay too. You could either stamp them, you could stencil them, or maybe you have die cuts, these are cardboard, these are little um, wooden numbers. So any one of these would work and maybe you have even something else. Now if you want to spell out a word or more that's completely fine but it's not necessary. These could also just stand on their own as a decoration piece. And now to my fourth little pile. Well it's actually not a pile but I think is that interesting part which hopefully will uh, make this challenge just a little more challenging and that is that we will all include a silhouette. Now I had this in my stash and I had uh, downloaded it from the internet and of course you can get any type of design and shape. Not just birds and animals but people and towns and plants and you name it. So those are a lot of fun to work with or at least to get ideas from. But you can create silhouettes in many other ways. Some can draw or paint it, others will may want to use a stencil or a stamp uh, to help you with the shape. You can also paint over an image like a magazine image or a photo uh, with black paint and create your silhouette that way and I'm sure there are many more ways. So uh, silhouette should be part of our book or journal cover. Now if you want to use it in a big way so it becomes a focal point that's up to you or if you want to use it more as a side decoration that's fine as well. So those are my four core elements. We will start by uh, finding a book or journal that needs a new look and uh, work on a cover. We will make sure we have some fibers in our design. We will also add letters and numbers or letters or numbers in whatever shape we like and we will add 
a silhouette. Now a book cover of course is usually front and back but it's up to you. If you only want to decorate the front that's fine too. In either case when you're done please send a photo or two to my email before the end of the month. You have all of July to work on it and then I will take all of those and combine them and will show them to you in my next four core video which will be up in the first week of August. Now if you're new to the four core challenge there will be a link below in my description box where you can find my intro video and that will get you up to date. Down there in the box will also be one more time a list of these elements for your reference and there will also be a list at the end of the video. So I think that's all I had for today. I hope I didn't forget anything. If you have any questions, please let me know. I of course would love for all of you to join in and play along. It's a lot of fun and it's nice to create something together where we more or less uh, use uh, the same ingredients. So I wish you all the best, a wonderful week. Stay well, stay healthy, stay creative. I see you really soon and bye bye for now.